Good morning all, it's day 8 of vegan week, so basically we're finished and uh, just time to wrap it all up and uh, go over sort of the final stuff and let, we'll talk about sort of how the week was for me, different things about that, pros and cons and right now we're going to do the weigh-in so I'm going to see if I've lost any weight at all. My guess, maybe, maybe lost one or two pounds, probably not a lot, because I still did eat like shit, I still ate like snacks, crisps and things like that, um, eat fried bananas, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't think I've lost much weight, but we'll see. Let's, uh, let's go to the scales now and have a wee look. Okay, so last time we were about 273 something, so let's... Uh... Two seventy three point six, which is pretty much what I weighed at the start. I haven't lost any weight. I haven't really gained any weight. Um, maybe by it's maybe changed by point something of a pound, which doesn't really count. I mean that that's just fluctuations in how much water you're drinking and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, going vegan not necessarily a good thing for losing weight. Okay, so vegan week's over, and I just wanted to sort of talk about how the week affected me, like my body and my mind, and just how I felt the week went. So, I think the week went, overall, went okay. I had no major issues, I had no major cravings, so could I go vegan? I could, I could do it, but I feel like I would probably crack eventually and eat some meat because the biggest thing for me was that I just got bored of the food. And I'd been looking online um, on like vegan websites and all sorts of stuff for like recipes and things like that and just to find other products out there that were vegan that I could go out and buy. And while there are a lot of sort of options for like recipes and things like that, none of them or very few of them were particularly appealing to me. It's just not the sort of stuff I like eating, um, even when I can have it with some meat. Uh, so yeah, I just, I feel like I just got bored of it very, very quickly. The biggest issue I sort of had was that there were very few actual vegan options out there. It takes a lot of work to actually find the products and things like that, that are vegan that you can actually have. I'm sure if you're vegan for a certain period of time, you eventually figure these things out and it's not so easy, not, not so difficult because you just sort of go into a store and go, I'll grab that, I'll grab that, I'll grab that because I know that's vegan. But as someone starting out, it was a pain. It was a pain in the butt. I mean, obviously vegetables and things like that are vegan, so you can eat anything like that. But then you've got to do all your cooking. You've got to do everything from scratch. There's very few things that you can buy that are just ready to eat vegan. You know, you can't go out and buy like a, a vegan lasagna. At least if you can, it's, they're hard to find. You know, things like that or pizzas, like vegan pizzas or vegan cannellonis or any, anything like that. You know, th that sort of stuff is really, really hard to find. And um, maybe if you go to like a specific vegan shop, you can get that sort of things. But how many actual vegan shops are there out there? Let's be honest, I mean, in Glasgow, not a lot, especially where I live. This is a place where you just don't see a lot of vegan shops. I mean, I did go to, I went to a vegan uh, restaurant in this area, or tried to, but it was shut down because not enough people go to it. Because when you look at it, the vegan population of anywhere is actually really, really low. It's a very small minority, which uh, is a shame. I think it's a growing movement, but right now it is very small and that's why I don't think there's a lot of appeal for shops, restaurants or whatever to offer a good range of vegan options and that's just all very disappointing for people who are vegan or trying to go vegan and it's just disappointing in general because I think I, I do agree with the sort of vegan philosophy, I do agree with a lot of the reasons why we should go vegan but I think right now as it stands it's not really viable for most people. As for myself, how I felt going vegan, um, 
spiritually, I don't know, I guess I felt better because for that whole week I didn't hurt any animals, um, which is kind of cool, I suppose. But at the end of the day, I'm going to start eating meat again anyway, so it's just a sort of minor lip for me. Physically, didn't feel any different. You know, I never felt like more energetic or or anything like that. I didn't, and you know, to go on the other side of the coin, you know, I didn't feel worse. I didn't feel like I was missing out on specific specific nutrients or anything like that. So I, you know, I just sort of felt like I, I normally feel. In fact, I did get sick for like two of the days I got a cold. Um, I, I don't think that was due to the veganism though. That was just because I get colds all the time and uh, my immune system is fucking shit. So that was that was it. I mean, overall, yeah, I, I just pretty much just felt the same. Um, one, there was one benefit, and uh, not to be too vulgar here, but I do want to be honest about this. My poops came out like that. <laughs> that was the, the only thing I really noticed, is that I could go in, takes me like two minutes to poop, bang, done. As a meat eater, and how much meat I normally eat, and cheese and things like that, I can normally spend about 10 or 15 minutes on the toilet, which probably isn't healthy, but um, yeah, so that, that is the one thing as a vegan that I did notice, which was nice. I'll have to admit, I do think that was good because it means I didn't waste any time sitting on the crapper, but uh, small thing. It's like probably the only actual benefit I felt um, being vegan. The thing is though, I did get bored of the diet. I don't think I'd want to really go vegan again, at least not just now, not while there are still so few options out there. If, if that changes, maybe I'd consider it again in the future. Um, but I do enjoy meat a lot. Um, steaks, fried chicken, cheeseburgers, all that sort of stuff. I just love that kind of stuff. And you know, as soon as I was finished with vegan week, the very first thing I did was go into work and get a roll and sausage and bacon. And I enjoyed it immensely. So yeah, I really don't think I could do it full time. I thought about maybe doing a vegetarian thing, um, not permanently, like all the time, like I'd maybe do it one or two days a week or something like that, I'd maybe work that into my diet, um, just because um, it would help with my sort of weight loss and stuff like that, you know, I'd maybe do something like that, but um, actually going full on vegan for any period of time right now is completely um, unrealistic for me, to be perfectly honest. Also to sort of add to the whole boredom factor, I think one of the reasons I didn't really lose any weight, in fact I did check it and technically I, I gained 0.2 of a pound, which doesn't really count me that, that's sort of like, so that's like water weight or, you know, I didn't take my morning poop yet and stuff like that, that's, that's all that is, but I didn't lose any weight at all going vegan and I think that was because I was bored, you know, I ate vegan meals, you know, very nutritious, you know, all vegetables and um, stuff like that, I mean you saw what I was eating, so lots of good stuff in there, but what you didn't see is the how much of like junk food and stuff I ate. I did show you whenever I ate anything new, um, just so that you would know exactly what I'm eating, and I didn't leave anything out. Um, so you know, I, ate, I did eat apples and bananas on occasion, but generally if I was looking at a snack, I was trying to eat something bad. I mean, in fact, my body was just sort of craving junk food. That's why, like, those onion rings, that big bag of onion rings, I ate that, like, whole bag in, like, two sittings, which I don't normally do. I don't normally eat crisps like that. I maybe have one packet of crisps a day, if you're lucky. But, yeah, I just fucking scoffed them, and I was eating those raspberry chocolate bar things. I had, like, three of those in that day, just because I was like, I want some fucking flavour. I want something nice and not something that's bad for me, I don't know, I, don't know, I just kind of craved it and that sort of counteracted any health benefits and um, the whole point of this wasn't to lose weight anyway, that wasn't the idea behind the diet. If I wanted to lose weight then yeah, I, I could have stuck to a diet, done a diet plan, done a calorie thing, you know, count all the calories and do all that, but I didn't because I didn't want to do that. The point wasn't to see if I can lose weight, of course I can lose weight. If I want to lose weight for a week, I can stick to a diet plan for a week. I've done that before, I could do that now if I really wanted to. It's sticking to it full time that fucking destroys me. But, you know, if I wanted to do that, I could have done that and I would have lost a bunch of weight. 
fine, I could have done that, but that's not, that wasn't the point. The point was to see if I could just be vegan, sort of be normal, just do what I would want to do, um, but just without eating act any actual animal products. And when it came down to that, I started eating a lot of junk food, started filling myself up with crap, and ultimately didn't lose any weight. So going vegan, not necessarily a weight loss tool. Um, I wouldn't recommend it as a weight loss tool unless you really do have the willpower to stick to it and you plan it, then maybe, yeah, it could be worthwhile, but um, no, definitely not a weight loss tool for me and I'm not going to try and use it as a weight loss tool in the future either. So to sum up, um, it was a good week. I learned a lot. It was very educational for me. I learned a lot about being vegan and what sort of things vegans do. Um, which was eye-opening. I do sympathise with any vegans who find themselves in a position where, you know, it's really hard to do it because you've always got people judging you and the options out there for you are really crap. You know, if you go to somebody's house and they want to order like a takeaway, you can't really do it unless you're in a proper place that has loads of good vegan delivery and even then you have to order separate from everybody else. And, you know, I got a lot of judgments while doing this. You know, a lot of people saying, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Um, before I sort of explained the situation to them. And uh, no, that's fair enough, everyone has their own their own thing. But I think um, I do sort of see from the point of view of vegans now and um, I wouldn't judge them for it. I think it's a good thing at the end of the day. I do think veganism is good for the planet and it's good for animals and stuff like that. So I do sort of see the value in it. I just couldn't do it because it's just not, not my thing. I think if it comes to the point where they've developed all this um, artificial meat, because they're, they're doing that now, and see when that gets to the point where, you know, that's, you know, artificial meat, it's not killing any animals, it's good for the environment, all that sort of stuff. If it's the same price as regular meat or cheaper, why wouldn't I just go for that? You know, I'd go for that, taste the same, texture the same. You know, you basically, you, if you had that and a steak from a dead cow on your plate, you could not tell the difference at all you know, go for the artificial stuff. See, when that sort of, sort of, sort of becomes mainstream, I, I'm, I'm going to be all over that. You know, that's the sort of thing I'll get into because that's good. But um, ultimately, actual full-on veganism, I don't think I could do. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I maybe do my whole vegetarian thing every now and then. But um, yeah, I, it was a good week. I did enjoy it to a degree, just more, mostly because I've learned a lot of things. But ultimately... No, wouldn't do it again. I'm not, I'm not going to go vegan. I'm not going to do vegan again. And uh, yeah, I mean, good luck to anybody who wants to try it. Definitely recommend trying it to see what it's like, see if you can manage on it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to continue to be a dirty, disgusting meat eater. Well, that's it for Vegan Week. That's it all finished. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you followed this all the way through to day eight, then thank you so much for watching. I hope you've um, enjoyed it and I hope you've learned um, a little as well as I have you know and yeah I hope you subscribe to the channel like the videos you know share the playlist and everything so other people can see it and um, just generally thank you so much for, for following it all the way through I really do appreciate all my viewers and I, I hope this has been entertaining for you I hope it's been educational so thank you so much for watching I'm so glad it's over um, but it has been an experience and I'm glad you guys got to experience it with me. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, that pretty much is it. So thank you so much again. And um, you know, again, share all the videos and blah, 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 blah. Um, have yourselves a great day. I will catch up with you guys in the next video. All right, I'm gonna go get a steak. <laughs>